Hi, Brad for Brewing TV. Today I'm here to demonstrate the newest accessory for our last straw bottle filler, the foamless finish. The foamless finish is the first single-handed operation counter pressure bottle filler on the market. It allows you to purge your bottles with CO2, pressurize them, and then fill your beer without creating any foam whatsoever. How does it work? Well, we've utilized a special pressure relief valve that will actually let CO2 escape the beer bottle as the pressure increases. What does this do? Well, it keeps the beer under pressure while filling to eliminate any foaming. Keeping the beer under pressure while filling keeps the CO2 in solution so you don't have any of that nasty foaming you can experience with other fillers. Let's take a look at the parts that make this functionality a reality. So we have the main body, which includes the pressure relief valve. We have the compression clip and we have the bottle seat. To assemble the foamless finish in the last straw filler, first remove the CO2 purge tube from the last straw body and insert the CO2 tube into the hole without the slit. Be sure that the pressure relief valve and the tapered end of the main body are facing towards the handle of the last straw. Next, reassemble the last straw, making sure that the liquid tube is inserted into the slit of the main body and clip the last straw back together. Once assembled, slide the bottle seal over the filling end of the last straw to meet the main body. Align the compression clip with the slit in the main body and clip it together. Consult the instructions from the last straw and make all your proper connections for your CO2 and your beer. Now that we're all connected, it's almost time to start filling, but not before we exercise that ever important art of sanitation. Sanitize your filler, run some sanitizer through the beer line, get your bottles, bottle caps, and anything else that you use during your bottling day. Now we have our cold beer, hook up your last straw filler, and be sure to have your CO2 on your keg as well. Right now we're aiming for about Yep, right there, 12, 13 PSI, it's perfect. Insert your filler into the bottle, and the first thing you wanna do is purge it with CO2. This will remove any excess oxygen from the bottle and keep your beer from staling. Now that we've purged the bottle of CO2, it's time to pressurize the bottle. Simply hold the bottle filler part of the foamless finish onto the bottle and depress the CO2 until you hear a hissing. Now this means that the bottle is pressurized and we're ready to fill. Simply push the filler down to the bottom of the bottle and allow the beer to flow in. Once the bottle's full, gently pull the filler out, cap is normal. And there we go. Perfectly bottled beer. Didn't lose a bit of carbonation and that's the benefit of having the foamless finish. Cheers. There we have it. Thanks for watching everybody, and please subscribe to Brewing TV. We've got plenty more tips, tricks, and product demonstrations there.